You know, Sean Doolittle uh, comes to mind as the guy who's probably at the top of the list in the category of players that are great social media follows. Yeah. Small group, right? right? Everybody's on social media. Not everybody knows how to do it. I thought you were going to say just great people because he could be at the top of that there's, list. There's too. that too. And Sean signed a one-year deal to join the Cincinnati Reds this week. Uh, I read an article in the Dayton Daily News where uh, Sean was quoted as saying, look, I think we're going to be pretty doggone good in so many words this year. He's been on a lot of I good teams. The, I added the doggone myself, but Sean joins us on the Wednesday program. Hey, Sean, good morning, man. Congratulations on your new deal. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Tell us, about, uh, tell us about the optimism you have for the Reds. Tell us about the new arrangement and uh, the excitement that you're undoubtedly feeling joining a pretty good team. Um, yeah, man, I'm excited for this, uh, for this next chapter for me personally, uh, and I'm excited to be a part of what they got going on in Cincinnati. Um, you know, making the playoffs last year, I think this is a group that's, that's hungry to continue that momentum and, and, and take the next step. And, uh, I love the mix of, uh, you know, veteran guys, young guys that they have on the team. I love, um, what their, their pitching guys, uh, Derek Johnson and Eric Jagers are doing, um, with the staff and, um, you know, this is going to be a, a, a new adventure. I'm really excited about it. Well, Sean, you've been on some good winning teams and, uh, you understand that dynamic. I'm curious how you look at not just the, the Reds team, but their bullpen as well and how you'll be used down there. Yeah. Um, so I was really open with the Reds, um, throughout this whole process. Um, I'm open to, uh, any, any role, whatever, whatever they want me to do, however I can help. Um, the bullpens, um, that I've been a part of that have been the most effective have been groups of guys that don't really care about the role that embrace whatever, um, they are asked to do. Um, you know, if they say, if, if the manager says, Hey, you're, you're the seventh inning guy, you got the seventh tonight. It's like, okay, well, you know, maybe part of you wants to be pitching well enough that you're in the mix for that closer spot. But at the same time, you're saying like, I'm going to be the best seventh inning guy in the league and I'm going to embrace this role. I'm going to help get the ball to that, to that guy at the end of the game. I'm going to protect this lead with everything I got. Um, and I think we have the guys to do that. I think we can match up a number of different ways. I think, um, you know, oh, you're showing Amir right now. I want to see Amir flex on him. Let's go. The Sims with the breaking <laughs> ball. I love it. I love it, man. There's a lot. I can learn a lot from these guys, and I'm excited to, uh, to share a bullpen with them, man. Uh, we're also showing you a little Michael Lorenz in there. He is a, a friend of the program and a frequent guest of ours. And I, I don't know if you're familiar with his workouts, Sean. He is a yeah. beast. Drink in some of this. Yeah, we're going to get this going in uh, in spring training. Um, you know, we're going to be on. Uh, there we go. We got the landmine press. Um, I got to get some tank tops and sleeveless shirts uh, so I can get <laughs> on some of these. Um, that looks like good stuff, man. Um, no, I mean, but on like a serious note, like I, there's a lot of stuff like I still have to learn. I think I can bring some veteran experience to the group, but I can also, um, you know, it, it's an ongoing process and I'm excited to uh, to get to work with these guys. Are they going to let you hit? That's, That's what I was just going to ask. You. Yeah. Oh my I want to know. Are they going to let you swing the bat? <laughs> <laughs> um, I... I I don't, it has, I don't think so. Let's, you know, that ship sailed a while ago. Um, I think the farther removed from uh, my, my first base days, the better at, the better at it I used to be, right? Like it's, um, if you don't use it, you lose it. Oh man, modest, I, was, man. I don't know. I Michael Lorenzo is going to talk you into it. <laughs> I, I, I can see your little home run derby and BP with him, no doubt. Hey, but I want to keep moving real quick. I want to ask you about your charity stuff because you're always so involved with doing so many things. What are you focused in on right now? Uh, you know, right now, this offseason, we've kind of, um, you know, taken uh, a little bit of a step back and tried to focus on, you know, this whole free agency process. Um, it was a little bit of a roller coaster. And, you know, now that we know where we're going to be next year, um, you know, we're starting to, you know, kind of do some research. We have a lot to learn about the city of Cincinnati. Um, and uh, we're definitely going to try to to do something um, while we're there. Um, we're not sure what that's going to look like yet. But I think that's, 
the off the field stuff that my wife and I have been involved in um, has been so rewarding for us. And I think it's been a big part of, um, you know, why we've been able to connect with fans in, in, in every place that we've been. And it's made it, you know, such a rewarding and special experience. I think you and your wife, and I'll speak for for fans like me, uh, have also connected with your your local fan bases wherever you've pitched because you've always been very uh, transparent with the things you like off the field, away from baseball. And I'll use your words, you're a self-described nerd, as we all are. Uh, you, you tweet a lot about Star Wars. I know you're a fish fan. You, you like to read. What, what are you nerding out on right now that you might <laughs> connect with with somebody in Cincinnati? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. Chili recipes? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A um, skyline so, going on. Yeah, so, um, you, know, you know, just interacting with fans on social media over the last couple of days, um, we've already started to get recommendations on independent bookstores and some, uh, some good spots in the uh, community. I had mentioned when I was talking with the, uh, the Cincinnati media that, uh, the last time, one of the last times we were there, I found like a really cool vintage store and I got like a cool, um, uh, a, a retro Grateful Dead shirt. And uh, so I got like people giving me recommendations on that stuff too, for like cool vintage shops and, um, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to have to put together you know, a reading list and, and stock up on books for spring training. So I appreciate um, the Reds fans point me in the right direction when it comes to, uh, you know, bookstores. I don't know what the protocols are going to be during the season this year. So, I uh, mean, you know, supporting local businesses and stuff like that in Cincinnati is probably going to be done online virtually. Uh, so, um, but this is, it, it's been cool to interact with the fans because we have a lot to learn about the, the city and stuff. So I appreciate uh, the, the advanced scouting report, if you will. Well, you do a great job connecting with people, man. Uh, you you had me hooked when you were lamenting the length of a CVS receipt on Twitter a number of years ago. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ah. Keep running that. <laughs> hey, Sean, congratulations on the deal, man. It's going to be a great fit for you in Cincinnati, and uh, we appreciate the visit today. Hey, thank you, guys. I want to say hi to all the guys at Push Performance. I think they're watching on TV in the gym right now. So thank you for all your help this offseason. I love you guys.